So when it launched, the Sorachi model is able to generate up to 10 second video. And this is true regardless of your subscription level. You could be using the free plus or pro versions of ChatGPT and the limit is still 10 seconds. But recently, OpenAI has made some updates that now if you are using the free or plus version of ChatGPT or OpenAI subscription, then you can generate up to 15 seconds video, which is good. But if you want to create 25 seconds video or perhaps even longer using the storyboards mode, then you have to subscribe to the $200 per month subscription called the ChatGPT Pro. So at the moment, if you want to generate even longer videos, then you have to subscribe to that very expensive subscription. But there is actually a way to utilize some features in the new Sora platform that lets you generate an even longer video. In fact, there is almost no limit on how many seconds you can generate using this AI platform. So this is one video that I created. This is a nine second sorry, 19 second video and I'm using the plus version of OpenAI and that is not possible. And yet this video is 90 seconds long and it is actually possible to create something like this to create a longer video. It is not perfect workaround, but it is doable. And perhaps there are some limitations that I'll talk later along the way. So if you are interested, I'm going to show you how you can actually generate a much longer video using the Sora platform. And uh, this method can be applied on the free and paid versions of ChatGPT or OpenAI. Now, uh, let's go back to the Sora platform. And for this example, I'll try to use this video. So this is just a cat wearing sunglasses and just casually riding a convertible car. I'm going to download this video. Okay, now basically we want to get the last frame of this video. And then later we can use the last frame of this video to be turned into another video. That's actually the workaround that uh, somehow similar in the Google Flow uh, using the VO model, but the same thing can be applied in the Sora platform. So there are many ways you can get the last frame of the video. For example, you can open the video on a browser and then you can put the playhead to the very, to the very end. You can right click on the video and then you can click save video frame as, and then you can get the last frame of this video as an image file. Or you can also use ChatGPT to get the last frame for you. So let me just show you how you can do it. Let's navigate to ChatGPT.com. And basically you have to upload a video. I'm going to just drag and drop that file right here. Now you can send this prompt. So this is the prompt that I'm going to use. Extract the very last frame of this video and provide me with a clickable download link for the image. Now. I, if you have access to other models, then I do recommend to use the thinking model because it is going to be more consistent. I tried this using the auto mode, but for some reasons, even though it seems to be able to run the script, but it is not consistently giving you the download link for the file. So I do recommend to just use a much more powerful mode, uh, model, which in this case, the thinking mini. Now, after that, just send a message and let ChatGPT to run some script and then let it will give you the download link for the frame or image file. Okay, so this is a script that ChatGPT just uh, performed or run on its system. Now I'm gonna download the last frame of that video. So I'll just wait for a few seconds. And this is what the last frame look like. Now, just to give you a proof that this is indeed the last frame, I'm going to compare it with this uh, last frame using the video player on Google Chrome. So yeah, this is the video and this is the uh, the last frame according to ChatGPT. I think it's not quite the same, but I actually trust the last frame that was taken or that, that was extracted by ChatGPT because it is more accurate than this video player on Google Chrome. But if you have access to this tool and you prefer this way, then feel free to use that. Now, after that, we can go back to Sora again. So I'm going to create another video using that picture, using that frame. I'm going to click this. Let's select that picture. And in this case, I want to make the cat to be removing the sunglasses. 
okay now for the duration i'll just use the basic uh, 10 seconds and just send the message and we just have to wait until the sora model is generating a new video based on the last frame that we just extracted from the previous video so i'll be back in a second okay so the video has been generated and it is not quite perfect but at least the cat is indeed removing the stun glasses from its head now i'm going to download this video basically we have to stitch or merge together the first video and then also this new video now you can use any video editor or you can use canva you can also use CapCut or filmora but in this case i'll try to use microsoft clip Jam. so if you are looking for a video editor that is easy to use free and also uh, doesn't have any watermark when you export a video then i highly recommend using microsoft clip uh, clip Jam. it is free and it is actually quite easy to use it's beginner friendly and it comes with some decent features but anyway let me just insert the first video and i'm going to put this video into the timeline now let's put that video the new video that we just created from the last frame and now i'm going to just mute everything because okay this is one thing that you need to be aware of because uh, at least at the moment we don't have a precise control to, con to customize the audio in the video using the sora platform it is just not possible so i think the application of this technique can be quite limited especially if you care so much about the audio consistency but anyway let's continue so this is the first half of the video uh, this is the first one this is the second uh, part of the video now let's just play the whole thing and hopefully it is a seamless transition okay so yeah that's one thing that definitely could happen so the first video was actually a normal speed but the second part is actually almost like a slow motion even though i would say the transition is smooth it's seamless but the movement or the pace of the video was different but let's say that's beside the point i think i would i would say that we are able to uh you know keep these two videos sorry about that i'm going to go back so basically we're able to make these two videos to be basically becoming one video now when you're done with the setting then you can export a video and here i can sell it up to 10 ktp and again there is no watermark and you can access this for free but in this case i'll just select 720p and yeah just like that it is quite simple and it will be saved automatically to your computer and this is what the final video looked like okay i'm going to set it to be looping this is the five six second and you'll see that the transition is going to be very very smooth yep it's seamless it's almost perfect i would say so yeah that's one way to extend the duration of the video that was generated using the sora platform so you can do it multiple times you can extract the last frame of this new video and then you can make another video and then you can make the video to be much much longer and it's even longer than the 25 seconds limit for the pro users in chat gpt so uh, i hope you find this video this tutorial to be useful and i'll see you on my next video i wish you a great day ahead